Hello, my friends. You know, this video, uh, it's been a long time coming and I've really been dreading it, but I have a really serious confession to make to you. And uh, this confession could, could cost me my job, could ruin my future, could basically blacklist me from society as a whole, but I, I have to come clean, I have to tell you the truth. I am a wool supremacist. All other fabrics, as far as I'm concerned, as far as my opinion goes, all other fabrics are inferior. I'll say it. I'll say it now, I'll say it again. Other fabrics are inferior to wool. Wool is the supreme fabric. And, you know, don't come to me with a sweater made of acrylic or cotton. Uh, that, if, if I see someone walking down the street with a sweater made of acrylic or cotton, I feel this uh, sickness. It makes me feel, you know, it's disgusting to see. It's disgusting to see. And, I mean, the worst, the worst thing is a wool blend. You think this is a wool blend? No, this is 100% wool. Every sweater I have is 100% wool, and there is just nothing more off-putting to me than to see the purity of a wool sweater ruined by 40% rayon, or 20% uh, polyester, or nylon, or acrylic. Acrylic being the biggest imposter fabric. Uh, you know, you, you might be shopping in a store and you see a nice sweater and you go over because it looks wool. It looks like it's a nice pure wool sweater, but you you look at the tag and you see that it's acrylic, that damn imposter. You know, wool itself, you know, it's, it's more durable. It's warmer. It breathes better, so it keeps you cool. Even, you know, if it's too warm out, wool breathes well. It's very dynamic in that sense. It's fire resistant. It's water resistant. Uh, water just sort of beads and rolls right off of it. It is still warm even when it's wet or damp. It's really, I mean, there's no other fabric that compares to the dynamism, to the to the powers of the wool fabric. And, you know, other other fabrics like silk, uh, that's, you could save that for people who, who need something nice and soft, some, some, some softies who need a soft fabric to be touching their skin. It seems like a, more of a, an Asian thing. Cotton, you never hear of European cotton, okay? You've heard of Egyptian cotton, but there's no European cotton. And even in, in German, what do they call cotton? Baumwoll, tree wool. Wool is the standard for fabrics in the, the great German language. So for someone like me, it just, wool fits my identity. It, it, is the traditional fabric for the traditional European man. And people might tell me, you know, we're in the current year. Get some artificial fabric. Get some, uh, get, just, why don't you just try the acrylic? It's less itchy. It's, uh, it's softer. No. I'm wool, 100%, all the way. Every sweater I own is wool. Every flannel shirt, that I own is 100% wool. I don't compromise. And I just want to live in a world where 
wool sweaters can stay pure and not be infiltrated by things like polyester or nylon or acrylic. And even within the wool race, there is diversity. There's cashmere, there's angora, uh, rabbit hair, there's camel hair, there's yak wool, there's wool of all different varieties, but it's all wool. And it's okay for wools to, to blend a little bit. You know, you can have a, a nice sweater that's 80% um, Shetland wool with 20% cashmere, or uh, a nice sweater that's, you know, 50% merino wool, 20% angora, uh, rabbit, and um, the rest alpaca. As long as it's all within the wool race, it's okay for that mixture and that diversity to occur. I'm in favor of that, but what I'm not in favor of are these infiltrators like acrylic weaving their way into the fabric. It's not, I'm opposed to that, and I think that we should have the right to maintain the purity of our garments. So, I hope you're amused by this little joke. I know I'm not the funniest, but I'm not, I'm no Sam Hyde. This is an attempt at humor, but, uh, you know, I, I go into thrift shops around my area and I find really nice wool sweaters that I, I then resell on eBay. And you know, I just wanted to add one quick note here uh, on a more serious note. Uh, I do this um, thrift hunting for wool sweaters because people in my area in general they don't appreciate things like wool sweaters. There, you, you find tons of nice old wool sweaters in thrift shops that have just been given away, uh, I think primarily because people just don't care enough to take the time and put in the effort to maintain a wool sweater. It's not something that you could just throw into a washing machine and a dryer to clean. It takes hand washing or dry cleaning, and it takes uh, a lot of care to to be able to maintain a wool sweater. And it's just you know not a lot of people are willing to, to put in that effort these days. It's you want to just throw your clothes into the washer and dryer. Uh, so I figured if there's anyone in the world who will appreciate a wool a nice wool sweater, it's people in my audience people like you guys. And the fact of the matter is, wool is uh, a part of traditional European culture. Uh, you know, there's there's different wool designs and, and uh, knits that you can find from all across Europe, from the Shetland Islands to Ireland to Norway to Germany. Uh, there's Wool is a part of European culture, and wearing wool is something that our people have been doing all the way back to the days of Homer. You could see in, in even the Odyssey, they talk about how uh, Odysseus and uh, other heroes from that time would wear these nice double thick wool cloaks to keep warm out on the stormy wine dark seas. And, uh, you know, I just figure if I can go and hunt down a nice wool sweater at a thrift shop that's been neglected and uh, resell it to you guys where you'll appreciate it and maybe hold on to it for, for an entire lifetime. And at the same time, giving away that you can support my channel by buying these from me at a reasonable cost. Cause you know, a new wool sweater can often be at minimum $85, $90, and at maximum up to $300, $400 for really nice ones. And I'm on my eBay account selling them for typically between $15 and $30. And these are nice, I only pick the nice ones, the nice thick ones with more traditional styles. And uh, I make sure that, you know, I'm not selling crap. 
on my on my eBay. So if this is something that interests you, if you want to help support the channel and get a nice wool sweater, uh, I'll put the link in the description. So that I just wanted to make that quick note. Oh, and one more quick thing. Uh, you know, there are other channels that are trying to sell you clothing to support their channel, but it's pretty much always uh, cheap, uh, corporate, mass-produced, uh, cotton-printed t-shirts. And uh, I figured if I'm going to sell any kind of merchandise, uh, any kind of articles of clothing to support my channel, I want it to be more traditional. So most of the things that I'm selling you are nice, hand knit or traditional style wool sweaters flannels other kinds of shirts of that nature uh clothing of that nature and uh i just think it's more in line with the values that i i try to uphold with this channel so that's the last little addendum that i'm adding in and uh i'm making this video actually because one really nice sweater that i found uh an irish it's a Donegal Irish cardigan. I'll post a picture of it right here. This card again is for big boys. This is, I'm six foot four, and you can see in that photo, it's big on me. And some nice gentleman in my Discord server bought this sweater and told me to give it away to somebody who could use it. So this whole video basically is announcing uh, a, a small giveaway, a little fun giveaway for fall. Uh, so if you're big enough or you know someone who's big enough to be able to use this sweater, that's all I ask is be able to use this sweater or, or know someone who can really use this sweater because it's for big boys, like I said, uh, and put your name in the link that I'm about to provide. I'll give you instructions on how to, uh, sign up for this little giveaway and uh, I'll choose somebody at random who can actually use and appreciate this sweater. And um, just just for a bit of fun, to give back a bit, and I uh, appreciate the generosity of Adder's Town from my Discord in buying this sweater and uh, telling me to give it away to somebody who can appreciate it. So yeah, just kind of a, uh, a silly video, giveaway, a little bit of humor, Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.